G'day guys, Scotty here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. Well, I'm flying solo today. I'm heading out to Botany Bay to get some slimy mackerel for bait and hopefully cook you up a feed later on. Slimies are one of my little favourite fish if they're cooked fresh. So anyway, I'm going to head out there guys and see if I can get amongst a few. I've reached my destination in Botany Bay. The area I'm going to be fishing today is called the Drums. Now, out here on Charters, normally I fish this area quite often, and uh, along with Yarra Bay and other many areas in Botany Bay. And uh, I was out here on Charter yesterday, and um, we come across a big school of slimy mackerel. Now, they move into the bay at certain times of the year and school up. So I just thought I'd take the opportunity this morning to duck out here and get some bait. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just working my way around the drums. There's number five there and a couple of drums over the background. I'm just using the sounder to see if I can pick up the slimy mackerel. Okay, you can see a really good show of fish just coming onto the sounder now. And that's probably our slimy mackerel, I'd say. You can see them sitting up high here and there's a few fish sitting underneath them. So I've got a run in tide this morning. The drum's down now behind me. I've actually moved over to number four. Number five, I had a look around number five and not much showing up, but it looks like we've got a good school just here on number four. So, as you can see in the middle of the sounder now, they're just behind us. So if I reckon I drop my anchor here, I think we'll be on the money. Right, the outfit we're using today, guys, is my uh, standard setup that I use for uh, fishing my charters in Botany Bay. These are a fantastic little Shimano reel, the 4000 Bait Runner OC, and I've got that matched to a dual, uh, three to six kilo. And uh, I find these um, handle a lot of different fish in Botany Bay. I've got them spooled up with Snyder nine pound mono. And to that, down here, there's my simple rig. Now you've seen this in many clips before. It's just a little uh, number one hook and an overall really simple straight down onto the hook. Now to that, we're, uh, we've got some, some burly chopped up here, right to get the slimies on the chew, and uh, I've got all my baits cut up ready to go. So a little cube of pilly, fish down in amongst the, uh, the burly, and I reckon we're a good chance to get a few. So that's your slimy mackerel, or what they call blue mackerel. Fantastic bait, and as like I said, 
a little favourite of mine, cooked up if they're fresh. So I'll try and get a few more now. And, uh, and have a bit of fun on them. Ever as a young kid, fishing for uh, for slimies. I think uh, many young anglers cut their teeth on fish like slimies and mullet and yellowtail and fish like that. They're great fun. So get the kids out here, burly up the slimy mackerel, and I'll tell you what, you'll have them hooked for life. I've had a pretty good morning out here on Botany Bay catching slimy mackerel and uh, I've got enough for bait and I'm going to show you guys how to prepare that shortly and uh, I've got one or two nice fish that I'm going to keep for a feed but I've just discovered someone else who's been enjoying the slimy mackerel just as I have and that's one of our uh, resident fur seals that live here in Botany Bay now and uh, they love the drums hello mate There's quite a few seals here in Botany Bay that call uh, this place home now. And I'm sure he's been getting stuck into the slimy mackerel. Anyway, time to head off. Okay, after a fun morning on Botany Bay, catching slimy mackerel, here I've got uh, six beautiful fish that I've kept. A couple of larger ones there, and a couple of smaller ones. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is uh, just show you how to store a bit of bait. Slimy mackerel is a fantastic bait for your, your reef fishing offshore, for fishing for flathead in the bay. Uh, I've been catching brim lately on, on sli fresh slimy mackerel. So it's a fantastic bait. But if you're gonna take mackerel home to freeze, it's very important that you look after it. So I'll just put these guys aside and let's get started. So the things you're gonna need is a uh, small knife just to fill it. I didn't bring my filling knife today, so I'm just using my bait knife, but as long as it's sharp, mackerel are very easy to, uh, to fill it. So just come in under that fin there and down under the, the pectoral at the front and then roll the knife and just slowly take your time keep the knife down against the backbone and they fill it very easy there we have it same on the other side cut forward and then just drop the knife down onto the backbone and just slowly work your way along removing the fillet like so now you can keep that for burley or for crab pots it works really well guys so hang on to that 
So I'll just push these fillets into here and I'll just do another one. Like so. Now, as you can see, beautiful clean fillet. And that's what I'm gonna cook up for you later on today. I'm gonna to have that for lunch. I'm gonna, but what I'm gonna do, that's the mackerel I'm gonna hang on to to cook. I'm not gonna fill it out here on the water. I'm gonna take it home. They travel a lot better uh, as a whole fish rather than filleting them out here. Okay, so I'll, I'll fill it that one at home, the one I'm gonna cook. So all you need is a Chinese container and some salt to look after your bait. What I'm gonna do is put a sprinkle in the bottom. Just any, any salt, table salt, rock salt, doesn't really matter. Put the first fillet in. A bit more salt on the fillet. And then just do it in layers. Next fillet, salt, and so on. And what the salt will do, we'll, we'll take the moisture out of the fillet and toughen it up. The problem with a lot of fish flesh, if you take that home and freeze it and then unfreeze it, the actual flesh will just drop away from the skin. It makes it very hard to use for bait. But by using the salt on your fillets, and don't be scared, put plenty in there. And that'll toughen it right up and it'll make it uh, a very good bait to keep in your freezer. And simply put the lid on. And there you have it, some fantastic bait for whether you're fishing offshore or you're fishing in Botany Bay. Well guys, that was an interesting morning out on Botany Bay. But we got the result we were looking for, some beautiful slimy mackerel. And I showed you guys how to prepare some bait for later on down the track. So what I'm gonna do now is a simple recipe that I love to do. It's quick, fast, and easy. And I do it with slimy mackerel, tailor, and bonito. It works really well. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do, like I said, I left these as a whole fish because they do travel better uh, when you're bringing them home, is take the fillets off. So I've got my filleting knife. I'm just gonna go under that front fin, drop the knife down, and roll and just stay right down on the backbone and just carefully take those beautiful fillets off. Just put that aside. As you can see, they're simple to fillet. They're quite fat little fillets and plenty of meat on there for a small fish. You could probably do this with mullet as well. Probably a simple recipe you could do with mullet. Mullet's very oily, it'd probably work quite well. As you can see, they're beautiful clean fillets. Because I've bled the fish, there's very little blood that's uh, on the fillets. And then what I'm gonna do is just gonna lay my fillets onto a tray, just like so. Like that. And I've got some beautiful olive oil from Torino here. It's a, a rosemary infused oil. And I find this goes really well on the fish. So very simple, just a little dribble on each one. And use your fingers and just run it over the fillets like that. Now I've done this on the, our uh, channel earlier in the piece on uh, Taylor and Bonito. So you can look that clip up and see how I've done the Taylor and the Bonito but just follow this exact same recipe. Now what I'm gonna put on here is some simple salt, really easy, some beautiful salt from Kira Crush. Just a little tiny sprinkling on each fillet. Like so. And then I've got some peppercorns from Kira Crush and I'm just gonna grind them on each fillet.
just like so. And there we have it. And that's how simple it is. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop that under the grill at about 180 degrees and it'll take about 7 to 10 minutes. Once the fillets are browned up on top, they're good to go. You don't need to turn the fillets or do anything else. And then you can eat them straight off the, off the, plate, off the foil if you want to, or you can then put them onto a plate and serve them up. Too easy, guys. So there you have it, guys. I'll, uh, I'll go now and put these under the grill and, uh, and get cooking. Okay, beautiful fillets in the grill. Well guys, how good does that look? Beautiful slimy mackerel, caught fresh this morning with a nice little garden salad. Too simple. And it's going to be very delicious for lunch, I can tell you that. Now guys, tune in next week for another fantastic clip on the Hook and the Cook. Please subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And we'll see you guys on the water next week somewhere. Cheers. I'd like to give a big thank you to all our sponsors for 2019.